workers, I got runners, I don't touch it, I just flood it How you hustling, got no bread, how you killing, got no heads You was my nigga, how you gon' trade, I'm like, fuck it, how you gon' play it I'm like, fuck it, how you gon' play it I got workers, I got runners, I don't touch it, I just flood it How you a hustler, with no bread, how you a killer, with no head You was my nigga, how you gon' trade, I'm like, fuck it, how you gon' play it how you a play? Yo, you're rocking with No Rap Cap Podcast, and I'm your host, Gaz. Today, we got a special guest in the building, Miss Sharonda, NBA Young Boy Mama. Yep. Yeah. That's what it is. How you doing, baby? I'm good. First things first, I appreciate you coming, pulling up on us, and taking your time out today to come, you know, talk the shit and kick it with us on No Rap Cap Podcast. But before we get started, for the people who don't know, just let the people know Introduce yourself and where they can find you at on all social media platforms. Okay. Y'all probably already know me, Miss Sharonda. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, I had a Twitter, but I forgot my account number. But, um, you know, you already know who I am. You get out of line, I'm going to cuss your ass out, you know, and put you right back in your pocket. That's me. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. I follow you, so I know you ain't bullshit. <laughs> 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 but to keep it G, we're going to jump right into this shit, man. Mr. Ronda, how life been treating you so far? Like, what's been going on with you, man? Um, nothing. It's, we like, I live my life regular. Like, I just get up and do stuff day by day. Like, it's nothing different than nobody else does. Right, right, right. And going forward, what, you, what, what, what would you want the people to know you as instead of just, you, know, you ready to be young boy mama or Miss Ronda? I'm whatever they want to call me. You see what I'm saying? It's people that don't know me. Um, NBA young boy mama, but if you do know me, you know I miss Sharonda. Right, right. How that changed your life a little bit? Because I know everybody want a celebrity family member and things like that for the for the well, brother and we, for the worst. Well, we from in Baton Rouge, like everyone already already knew who we were because like I'm already a comedian in Baton Rouge, and right. then like Contrell them, they already had their little famous thing going on before they was getting noticed worldwide. Everyone already knew who they was in Baton Rouge. So it's really not nothing different. It's just like a lot of people, they get us confused with like other kind of celebrities because like we're regular. And like if they see me somewhere and they be like, what you doing here? Or, oh, Miss Sharonda, like, I'm so happy to see you. Or, look, right, I'm right. just like you. Don't do not do all that. If you want a picture, be like, say, Miss Sharonda, I can get a picture. You know, don't be trying to hide and take a picture because I be like, nah, want, bitch, yeah, don't, don't do all that. You know what I'm saying? Don't do not do all it. Right, right. I seen that little skit with Corey with the kid. And, uh, oh, my do, God. Do, do that shit me, really, really be happy? Let, let, oh. let, 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 let me tell the people uh, what it was so they can know. Mm -hmm. uh, saw you in the store with Corey with the kid. He's a comedian from New Orleans. Mm -hmm. That's my partner. So shout out to him. Fuck with him hard. You was in the store shopping, and, and he walked up, and he was like, you know who you is? Every like, day. Almost like, how, all how, the time. How that shit make you feel though inside? I mean, it really be like... Sometimes, I don't know, sometimes it get on my nerves and sometimes, you know, I just roll with it because it's always happening all the time, like with all the time. Right, right. Because everybody, everybody, that's they dream of, especially when they be doing music. Uh, you know, people dream of having a celebrity friend, celebrity mom. You're a celebrity mom. I know that got to feel good just coming from the trenches, uh, North 38, where y'all came from. Mm -hmm. And I know I know, I know, it's a good feeling. That shit just got to do something to you. Like, when you be passing, I saw, I follow you, so I saw you when you posted uh, one day you was riding by and you saw a young boy on the uh, billboard. Yeah, yeah, we How that California. shit make you feel to that degree? It make, like, me, it make me feel good because, like, I feel like he's doing his job. Like, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to be the best at what you do. So when I see him like selling out stuff you know I don't really get excited because that's what you're supposed to do I think I would get more mad if he didn't do it, what he was supposed to do right, right, you know right. like if he wasn't on a be a board and I saw somebody I'd be like damn why my baby not up there he need to work harder or something like that right yeah. right right I understand that that's a good way to look at it when it first kind of hit you like damn my fucking son a superstar cause this nigga I don't take that bitch out of my deck and everything. I'm lying it, when we leave this bitch. Mm -hmm. When we go to start my car, that bitch gonna be playing just to keep it G. It still haven't hit me. Like, it ain't hit you yet. This nigga the biggest on YouTube, like, biggest on Google. He my baby. He can trail. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. And people be going. That's, that's another thing. People be going off social media and shit. And I be I, like I said, I follow you. I be seeing the crazy question: How you and young boy relationship is? Mm -hmm. Man, you know, family members get into it all the time. It's, it's not. Great. It's not even like that. It's like children. They 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 forget that he's twenty. Right. Yeah. He's he's, um, I guess above his age, but he's twenty. But people don't understand like children get parenting and you know being friends mixed up. Like 
some he might be like, oh, I put somebody before him. It's not that I put nobody before you. If you already didn't eat and my man have not ate yet, you wait till he eat and then you eat again. That's not putting nobody before you. That's making sure everyone eats. Right, right, You see what right. I'm saying? Or, you know, like if he forget his key and I tell him, don't knock on my door at that time of night, then he'll feel like, oh, she putting me out. No, you got a key. If you leave your key, then stay outside and get another one made. You right, know what I'm right, saying? Right. Like, don't come beat on my door at 3 and 4 in the morning. Like, Control wasn't no normal child. He was like a grown man. He was like out there like... Right. So he just did what he wanted, what he wanted. But you know, it's it's a lot of different stuff. Like right, right, because uh, you know, just just family members and shit like that. Like it ain't always peas and cream. But the moral is is unconditional love. So no matter what oh, y'all yeah, go don't through, play, it's don't unconditional play with my love. Baby, don't you play with I'm my saying? children and and don't play with me. Right, right. And and, and Baton Rouge ain't too far from here. You know, they all right down the street. You know, so just just the shit that that you hear about New Orleans and. The shit that happened on in Baton Rouge. How you compare that shit? Like, you know, it's grimy. I know it's grimy up here and it's grimy down there. How you compare to where you and young boy grew up to this motherfucker? Because probably because in Baton Rouge, we already know who we have to look out for. And when we come here, we don't know exactly who we have to look out right, for. Right, right, right. That's the only difference. Right, right. How how did did, did being a celebrity mom affect you in some way as far as jobs and yes. things like this getting yes. threats and shit? So how how you know, like so yes. I know it's a good and a bad with this I shit. I can't really have no regular job, but you know, I ain't I ain't worried about nobody either because I'm gonna protect myself too. So Right, right, right. Like I say, <clears throat> But you got the barbershop, the barbershop shit coming in fruition. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, so speak on that because, like I said, this, this this for you to shine a light on you, and that's what our podcast for to get the people they flowers while they here and always entice them to do positive things. That's what mm-hmm. the whole platform, our whole movement for. You know, we ain't on no messy shit, the respectful shit. So, just going forward, with just with the barbershop shit and the comedian shit, like what, what you got going on right there? Um, well, like. I'm just uh, naturally, like, I really don't make jokes. Like, I can just go to the stage and start talking. But, like, with the barbershop thing, it's like, you know, I just don't feel like barbers get, um, they don't get enough recognition like they should. Like, just same way a woman go in a hairdresser and she come out looking like a different thing, that's the same thing with a man. So, you know, you give the barber the respect that you give the hairdresser right. or whatever. And, like, the barber show, it's basically, like, different men going to be, you know, doing different challenges, like who can cut the line the best or who can make a fade the best or, you know, who can put a barber chair together the fastest. You know what I'm saying? Right, you know, right, just right. You know, just some fun. Like, uh, I love New York, you know, Flavor love kind of thing. Right, right. When 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 all this supposed to pop off? It should be like maybe the end of April. We'll be trying. I mean, yeah, at the end of uh, April, we're trying to get it rolling. Right, right. right. And uh, like I say, I congratulate you on everything that you're doing, and I wish you the best on everything you're doing. But a person who watching this interview and they won't support you, what can they do to support Miss Sharonda? I just just watch me and and you'll you'll see who who I am. Just watch me. That's that's all I need you to do. Cause once you watch me and if you feel like you want to come at me or you feel like you want me to do something, you're gonna come to me. You know what I'm saying? I I'm not trying to sell myself. You just you just watch and you'll see. You'll buy it yourself. Right, right, right. You, you're confident. <laughs> yeah, I, I watch it. you on Instagram. <laughs> but but within all this shit that you be talking and you be spazzing on there, no filter, I know within... Oh, oh well, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, because no, see, they think I be being disrespectful, but, I, but I'm not being disrespectful because like, I feel like how you feel, you can be on my live and ask me a stupid-ass question and think it's just going to slide like that. You can't just... Like, I'm in your barbershop, you know, I'm on, I'm on your interview. I can't be like... Uh, this shit wack as hell, and you just gonna sit there. You be like, man, you know, I'm interviewing you. You should be glad I got you here. You see right, what I'm saying? Right, like right, that's right. disrespectful. Like you need to be lucky that I'm on here talking because like a lot of celebrity moms, and you don't know a lot of celebrity moms because they not in the spotlight. They don't entertain y'all. They don't, you know, none of that. I entertain y'all. Right, right, and and, and I hope you enjoy the podcast. Huh? I hope you oh, enjoy the interview. Like this. You know what I'm nice. saying? Taking our shit. Yeah, and the but, cameraman uh, cute too, y'all. Check out. Yeah, he is. <laughs> this lady don't got no filter. Y'all Shut already up. know. <laughs> but uh, just on a serious on a serious note, 
I, I see you. I know I follow you. I know you got a good heart. I see you play all your little games and shit, and you're always giving back. And just how that make you feel that you 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 able to give back now through the Instagram and the little things that you do. And uh, life probably wasn't like that before that, like, you know, your son, you know, made it to where he at. I always try to make people feel like they... um they welcome like I never make somebody feel low or down even like with the little cash app game like I have over 250,000 customers I mean like followers like if just say 600 people give one dollar just 600 people give one dollar then that mean I can give six people a hundred dollars right you see right. what I'm saying I mean everybody's not gonna win but the one or two, three, four, five people that do win, it's helping them in yeah, some kind of way. Definitely. You might not win today, but you might look up and win tomorrow. I sent like, my dollar before. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I sent $10. That could be, you know, something to eat. It, gas or something. I sent 15 20 I sent all the way up to 100 because I, I can only send as much as they sin. Right. It's always a blessing. It's yeah. just a thought. And yeah. like I say... And it's just fun. Yeah. And, and, and believe it or not, man, pre people appreciate it more than the giver be thanking. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? You know you're doing it for a good cause, man, but you really, really blessing some people with them $25 and $50. It mm -hmm. might be little change to me or you, but to them, to them. like you say, it's big. They don't even know yeah, how they were going to You just gave go $1 and you came up off of 9 So, I mean... Right, you know, right, right. That's they good. think everybody's out to get them or scam them. It's not like that. Like, even with my, my baby, Contrell, Contrell is a giver. He loves people. But it's like, even with me, I love people. But don't come at me a certain way or don't try to get over on me, none of that. It is not going to happen. That right. don't mean you a mean person or a bad person. It mean, like, you got me fucked up. Like, don't do that. Right, right. Since young boy been on on his top his game like that, what's some of the crazy shit that you ever heard about your son? Oh, these two girls had broken my daddy's house and they was um, sitting naked on the bed and um, just <laughs> I'm, I'm serious, like, right, right, right. And I have grown women be in my in my DM and they be naked, be like, "You think your son are like this? Uh, bitch, you need to be asking him that. I'm not gay. I like I like men now. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, right, like, right, right. Yeah, hey, don't ask me. <laughs> Ain't no, ain't no, ain't ain't nothing wrong with that. But just being a celebrity mom, or just being a mom, period. Fuck the celebrity mom. She just being a mom. What's what's some of the best advice you ever gave your son, young boy, since he's been doing this thing? Oh, what's some of the best advice you didn't gave him? Don't let a nigga get you. Right. That's all I can tell you. Don't let a nigga get you. What you speaking on for? Don't let a nigga get you. Any any kind of way. Money wise, violence, anything. Right, right. Don't, I don't, I don't, don't think that's happening. You got a strong team around them. Yeah, just don't, don't, don't let nobody hurt you. That's all. I mean, that's all I can. That's all you can tell any child in the street life. If you choose the street life, is you or them. Right, right, right. Uh, for as far as his songs and album, you listen to every one that he dropped, every song, every album. I ain't got to. no choice. My grandbabies love their daddy. If you ain't playing their daddy, they not even listening to it. What's your best song he ever he ever came out with? I, I know it's I a am, lot because I got I, I can't. I'm it's hard serious. for me to say one. I but. like Untouchable and Gravity. Right, mm -hmm. right, right. Mm -hmm. You know the lyrics. <laughs> I know some of them, but no, it's like because those those two songs are Kentrell. Like those are Kentrell. Right, right, right. Lord knows I need Sharonda. Oh, you talking about... <laughs> I, I like that motherfucker oh, right there. you talking about Lonely Child. That's my shit. I don't take that bitch. How I, I bump that motherfucker back to back to yeah, back to back. Yeah, he say it because he know, like, I don't really put up with certain stuff. Like, you can't even come to me with certain stuff because I ain't going to even listen to it. Like, I ain't... Right, right, right. That's what it is. Just on the road, you know, to success. Uh, Like you said, that, that, that affect you a little bit. So... How you feel your comedy gonna work for you if you think you know the gigs affect you and shit like that? You can't get a proper job and shit. I mean, well, with comedy and stand up, that's that's like entertainment. It's more like when I was working at Circle K, like they they really would call my my work phone and they'd be like, "Yeah, bitch, we finna come up there." Uh, you want a black and mild or you want a, um, <laughs> which which you want? Cause you ain't finna come up here for me. <laughs> shit, what's wrong? But it's like. Entertainment is it's okay, you know. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. What's well, far as the barbershop, like I said, what's the best song and all that? But uh, what 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 you see Miss around there in the next two three years, just doing on the positive level? Oh, I want to be in a movie. Not like, in a movie. No, not no naked movie. No, 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 no I ain't yeah. seen no naked yeah. movie, girl. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I want to be in a movie, like a real movie. <laughs> 
You think you, you think you think do good with acting? Acting? You yeah. Cause you shit, you I got a lot of niggas think I like them and shit. <laughs> I'm just playing. Uh, uh, no, but for real, no, I'm I'm good. You I'm gotta good. watch the niggas you fuck with out here yeah. these days. Mm-mm. You hear me? We ain't gonna oh, touch I'm on that. I got me, I got me a best friend. I'm silent. I ain't worried about none of it. Oh, oh, oh! We don't know who he is. The world don't know who he is yet, huh? Oh, they they know. They ain't stupid. Right, right, right. But uh, just going forward, what you, what you want the people to know about Miss Miss Rhonda? Like you know, uh, any, any anything that you know. That Nothing really like you don't know the people. You like, gotta, you, no. People gotta know about you. My, they already know me. They, it's my grandchildren and my children and my friend. That's all. It's nothing else. Like that's the only stuff that made me happy. Like I can stay inside. I got my grandbabies. I'm good. My children. I'm good. Like I don't really. I, I never was an out person. Like right, right. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't do none of that. I just be cooling. Right, 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 right. So. <clears throat> In the midst, in the midst, the midst of everything, what you're doing, uh, for us, the barbershop shit, the comedian shit. At the end of the day, what you know, what's what's your goal? The end result, like you know, what I'm saying, I know people should, people might think like, damn, she shouldn't do nothing. Fuck, her son is fucking a millionaire. You know what I'm saying? But how I you just, feel about that part right there? You feel like you still got to get I up just, there out there and go well, work? Well, yeah, because like. You know, Katrina, he's he's a he's a child. Like some days he want to be, you know, mama's boy. Some days he be like, "You grown." <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, but like it's it's normal. Like I just want to live. I just want to wake up one morning and the next morning and the next morning and do me and go from there. You see right. what I'm saying? So the celebrity status shit don't really mean nothing for you because no, it's like, like my son will always have me. And at yeah. the end of the day, that's true. I mean, yeah, like I'm good and. Just like you, like I see you got your bar shop, you got your podcast, but you see I see your teeth and I see your swag, and you got other skills too. Like it, it is what it is. You gonna get right, it how right. you get it. Yeah, just, but 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 my image is my past life. Uh, you know uh, what I'm saying? I drive tugboats and we do the podcast, and I'm just the face yeah, of this yeah. shit. Uh, yeah, and that's, I, that's, that's, mm, a, that's another thing. Mm-hmm. I'm just you playing. <laughs> Like this, that's another thing. I'm just the face of this shit, and mm-hmm. but this shit the whole team. You know what I'm saying? Without mm-hmm. either, either one of us here, this shit wouldn't work. So. That be the thing, like no matter what you do, you gotta have a, you know, a strong team. That's support what I said. Like I don't, team. I don't care what I see on the media. I don't care what people call me and tell me. They're my children. I, don't, I got their back. I don't care. I might curse them out, or me and them might get into it, but you ain't gonna play with them. Right. How it made you feel last night when you heard the news about the little situation with Yaya and all that shit? How, how that, how, how that shit made you feel? I know you had to make sure your son was straight. You talked to him since last night. Hmm? Control be good. I don't. I don't have to. If I hear anything or see anything, he good. Cause sometimes social media blow it blow it out of proportion. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Soon, soon, soon. I heard about it. It was on world stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's, so it's, it's good. You he know, good. And, and then that edit shit play a good a good yeah, role in shit. Mm-hmm. How you know how shit be going? But like I say, I wish you the best on everything you're doing in time that you need to come back and kick it with us. Anything that you want to promo, anything we can help out with is all good with us. And you always welcome back. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like I say, you could have been doing anything. You know, with your time and you took the time out to come fuck with the No Rap Cap podcast. So sincerely, that you know. Uh, that's genuine for us, you know, saying thank you for that. But like I say, this 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 platform is to shine a light on you, and I'm I just don't want to leave nothing out, you know what I'm saying? So is anything you want the people, you 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 want to tell the people, or just just anything you can think of, cause like I say, this this podcast and this interview for you is your time to shine. I mean, it's it's basically they they really know who we are. They know from Kentrell to Lashonda to Kendall, they really know who we are because like. We 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 can't even rest. Like them those people stalk us. Like they really really like. I have had women try to holler at my man just because he is my man and I am John Boy's mom. It's it's so much stuff like you know that that everything it come with the game. It, yeah, it, it come with anything. so you gotta people, soak it up and keep it going. People, you can't trust nobody. They just slick us in so many ways, or they try in so many ways, like all right. kind of stuff. So, 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 the, so, North Thirty Eight, well, well, young boy uh, from what he rep, that's the same uh, place that you grew up at. Yeah, that's I, when I was born. When I was born, out of my mom and them, that's where I was. The house that I lived in, and I'm forty five now. So, is North Thirty Eight really fucking bad like that? Yeah, it, it, it's real yeah, fucking grimy around that yeah, bitch. Cause exactly. you have to watch your back. 
Right, right, right. Well, you got to watch it back anyway, but just listen to that fucking music. It be sound like that motherfucker just, you know, that motherfucker crazy. You don't know what loud they have around that bitch. Mm. But, but, but they got some crazy neighborhoods in New Orleans, too. That's why I was asking about the comparison and shit. Well, New, I think New Orleans got it. Well, maybe because y'all bigger. Right. Yeah. Shit, I don't know. Baton Rouge might be bigger. I think y'all bigger than us. I don't know. Baton Rouge a cow. What the fuck? Mm, they ain't that big. Uh-uh. <laughs> like if y'all got more because y'all may be a little bigger. Right, right. And I, I, I just don't want, you know, to leave here and you be like, damn, I should have told them about this opportunity that I was this thing I was going. So you you showed that you didn't cover everything that. Yeah. Because well, oh. I, want, I want the people to support you, not just being, you know, a uh, young boy mom, but just supporting you as a person. You're a good person. Like I see past yeah, like the I said, shit I, that I you just be wanna, doing. Like, I want to end up like in a movie, do comedy, whatever. Because I like to make people smile. Like I'm not with, like I'm with the shits, but I'm not with the shit. Like right. I don't like nobody to bother me, but at the same time, I want everybody to be happy and I want everybody to know that they can be an NBA young boy. I want everybody mama to know yeah. that their child could be an NBA young boy. You see what I'm saying? Like, He's younger than me, but shit, he inspired me to you know, yeah, some, like, some, some degree too also. So that's good. But I always want that nigga to do a song with Boosie and fucking Gates together. Why that shit? Oh, I was just waiting that would fucking happen. No. Man, I don't know. That, that 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 gotta happen. I, I, I want to see that shit right there. But is it any other music that you listen to besides Young Boy that you want um, him to do some well, song got, with? Well, you know we got Wap he um from Baton Rouge. Wap Beezy? Yeah, Wap Beezy and yeah, yeah, I know, you know black dude with the dreads, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah, that's yeah. our friend. Like him oh, and Katrell, right. like you know they was together all day, every day, like when they was younger. And you know the all Street of the Carlos. NBA, uh, he yeah. up there from up that yeah. way, huh? All of, all of the yeah. NBA boys, yeah, all of the NBA boys and. Other, other than that, I don't know no other rappers. Under, under nah, 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 nah. I was, I was saying some some rapper that you like that just that your son ain't do a song with yet, and mm-hmm. you just you hope they do a song together. So why busy? Uh, I always, one of them, I always huh? wish my baby would do songs like with an older rapper, like right, maybe right. Ice Cube and some like you know like legendary rappers. Right, right. Yeah, that'll be nice. Cause, cause I ain't lying. Uh, when he touched that Michael Jackson mm-hmm. shit. I was yeah, like, they thought damn, that they man. thought he wasn't gonna be able to pull it off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that and mm-hmm. that's that's one of the hardest yeah. fucking songs out right now. But I think that's what they need, like a um old school meet me new school, like um a rap um concert or something. So that way the the parents and the children can go together because like Ice Cube and all them, that was us. And yeah. they can teach the younger ones. They really can. Right, right. I was watching Drink Champs the other day, and they do some shit like you can't go on, you can't get on Drink Champs unless you've been ten years or better in the game. In the game, you know what I'm saying? And 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 they they interview o, uh, OT Genesis, and they say they wanted to get Young Boy on there because I guess the the uh, requirements for the for the shit that they were talking about it, it don't matter. Cause like I said, man, the whole world fuck with that nigga. Oh yeah, you know he didn't broke. He didn't broke so many barriers. Like he didn't. Yeah, he didn't broke so many barriers. You real and you, so try, barriers, you a gangster and shit. Yeah. You holding back. I mean, that no, shit gotta make you no, no, when I'm you go serious. to sleep he at night. He he done broke so many barriers. He didn't did so much stuff that other people have not done at his age. Like. For real, it's music wise. Cause like at one time there's like he was the youngest one to get an article wrote up in him about Rolling Stones and stuff like that. Um, right, right, right. And I was reading some shit before too. Like he was he, he always wanted to rap. He always wanted to rap. Yeah. Just even when he was into Lula and yeah, shit. Yeah, because like I used to rap. Like I used to be a rapper. Yeah, but ain't with no, no fucking rapper. Let me t- no, 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 Whenever I call my girl, she always got my back. Say it. Whenever I call my girl, she always got my back. All right, now say it again. Whenever I call my girl, she always got my back. Whenever I call my girl, she always got my back. Nothing's wrong with that, right? Nothing wrong with that. I'm finna change all of that up. And when you listen to what I say, you're gonna be like, damn. Now, I'm, I'm gonna change it up in one word. I never have to call my girl. She always got my back. I never have to call my girl. She always got my back. Because, like... Whenever I call my girl, why why should you have to call her? She should already know what you need. You eat at 12, you should have your food at 12. It's wordplay. Right, right, You see what I'm saying? Contrell uses wordplay. You might be a songwriter. You see what I'm saying? Contrell uses wordplay. Like, you ever thought about stuff he say, like, and you think, like, what did he just say? It's, always it's, yeah. thinking with something yeah. that nigga see what I'm saying? Like one word can mess up a whole song. One word can change a whole song. Cause like I just changed that whole meaning. And you was like, it made you think a whole nother way. It's like, damn, hold on. Like why she don't got my bitch? Right, right. <laughs> yeah. I pay attention to that nigga say I know you having mm-hmm. me Googling some shit sometime. Yeah, it's, I ain't it's, lying. It's wordplay. So like I say, uh, I wish you the best. We here to support you. No support. 
for the support and uh I always like to end the interview on a positive note, no matter what's going on in the world. You know what I'm saying? So can you just take us out on a positive note? Just like I told y'all earlier, anybody can be an NBA young boy. Just put your mind to it. You might can't be him. Because a lot of people come to me and like, I rap like young boy. No, you can't. He got it locked up. You got to have your own style. You got to have your own, you know, little... Swag to whatever you do, but you know if you put your mind to it and you just really try, you 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 can do it. Like a regular child in a regular house in a regular bed, whatever, whatever. You don't have to have nothing big. You don't have to have nothing at all. If you put your mind to doing, want to be a rapper, just get the right person to hear you and get the right person behind you, and you can do it. Right, that's what's up. And and, and before we get out here, back to that skit that you and Carl with the K had did. Uh, you was ever cool, cool enough with somebody, and you really did that, like you called them and 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 let them somebody him or some shit like that. No, indeed, you try to even answer the phone. He'll be like, because like, but he really likes calls us. You know what I'm saying? Because he got so many people. You know, people finds his numbers. Like they right. they didn't found our numbers. I don't even know how people find our numbers. They get them from anywhere. They can. They probably can pay people for to find his number. You know what I'm saying? Right, Anything. right, right. He, like, you got to change the number and be safe. Yeah, like, if his phone probably rings a million times a day. Right, right, right. And uh, once again, I appreciate you coming all the way from Baton Rouge to come kicking with us. And uh, I was excited about I was excited about having you. And uh, I know, because you've been staring at me the whole time. I ain't been staring at yeah. you, girl. <laughs> you might have been staring at me. Erin <laughs> McKeown, she might be staring at me. <laughs> but that's what it is. But before we get out here... Oh, uh, before we get out here, I want you to uh, let the people know once again where they can find you at on all social media. I'm on Facebook and I'm on Instagram. It's Sharonda Golden. And I think my Instagram is like 7232. Yeah. I don't know why they put that behind it, but 7232, like Sharonda Golden 7232. Right, right, right. That's what it is. So be sure to uh, follow Miss Sharonda. Uh, she don't care what you call her, Miss Sharonda, NBA young boy. Uh, Crazy, wilding out on Instagram, no mm-hmm. filter. That's Tia, her shit. Kendall Mama, yep, everything, yep. Kendall mm-hmm. Mama, all mm-hmm. that shit. Yeah. But uh, on a serious note, like I say, there's no Rap Cap Podcast, and I'm your host, Gaz. Uh, be sure to get your merchandise. Be shipping worldwide. We got the two for 25 going on uh, right now. Hats, shirts, slides. Uh, so if you want any merch, just go ahead and contact us uh, Contact us uh, on Instagram. Any uh, business or any artist want to promo through the podcast, hit us up via email at no rap cap podcast uh, at gmail.com. We drop on YouTube, exclusively YouTube, at 9.30 every Sunday. Uh, this shit ain't going nowhere, and we ain't stopping this shit. And shout out to my cameraman, the shooter, slow that film. And shout out to my engineer, uh, daytime on the track, and myself. who put all this shit together for the people. And that's what our podcast stand on, man. Uh, it's a way to give it back, and we strive on positive. You know what I'm saying? Just being straight positive. And uh, hope y'all enjoy my podcast with Mr. Rounder once again. And we'll see you next time. Yeah. It's flooded, how you huffing, got no bread, how you killing, got no heads. You my nigga, how you gon' trade? I'm like, fuck it, how you won't play? I'm like, fuck it, how you won't play? I got workers, I got runners, I don't touch it, I just flood it. How you a hustler with no bread? How you a killer with no head? You my nigga, how you gon' trade? I'm like, fuck it, how you gon' play? How you a play?